Today we will be learning working of clocked SR flip flop. So to understand working of clocked SR flip flop, let's try to understand SR latch. So SR latch has two NAND gates with input let's say R dash and S dash and two outputs Q and Q bar. Now these two outputs are complements of one another. If Q is 0, Q bar will become 1 and if Q is 1, Q bar will become 0. Then over here output of first NAND gate is connected as input of second NAND gate and output of second NAND gate is connected of input of first NAND gate. Then uh, we have already seen explanation of this part in previous video. I will provide link of that video in description as well as in pin comment. Okay. So we studied this and we saw its output as R dash S dash are the inputs. QN and QN bar are outputs. QN stand for next output. Okay. Next output. So 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 were the inputs and when both are 0, 0 your QN and QN bar outputs become 1, 1 and this condition is called as forbidden condition for 0, 1 it will become 1, 0 it will be called as set condition okay then for 1, 0 it will become 0, 1 which is called as reset condition and for 1, 1 it will remain Q and Q bar which is no change condition okay explanation of this we already seen in previous video okay so further we will use same circuit to design clock tessar flip-flop so for designing clock tessar flip-flop we will do the following we will add two more non NAND gates we will add two more NAND gates like this over here and their common input we will call it clock input which is periodic signal which alternates between zeros and one and two inputs are s and r okay so we will try to get the value of r dash and s dash once we get the value of r dash and s dash then further explanation we know so further part we know okay so we will try to solve now first part of this circuit okay so let's see what should be the value of r dash so from this circuit we can see that r dash has two inputs this first NAND gate NAND gate number one has two inputs s and clk therefore its output will become clk into s whole bar and for s dash gate number two inputs are clk and r that's why its equation will become CLK dot R the whole bar. So NAND gate we equation NAND gate equation we draw. Now let's solve this. To get R dash and S dash, one should know value of CLK and value of S and R. Okay. And from that we will get the value of R dash and S dash. Okay. So if CLK is 0, then one of the input of NAND gate becomes 0, NAND gate number 1 and NAND gate number 2. And when input of NAND gate is 0, its output becomes 1, 1. Okay. And we don't care what are the values of S and R. Okay. If one of the input is 0, output becomes 1. So to get the output, we should make our clock 1. And when clock signal is 1, SR can take 4 values. 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 okay so let's substitute r dash for r dash we should get clk into s the whole bar clk into s means multiplication of first two column and then we will take complement of it 1 into 0 will be 0 
and 0 bar will become 1 1 into 0 is 0 0 bar will become 1 1 into 1 1 into 1 is 1 and its complement will become 0 1 into 1 is 1 its complement will become 0 now let's solve it for s dash for s dash we should solve clk into r the whole bar so we will multiply first column and last column so 1 into 0 is 0 bar of it will become 1 1 into 1 is 1 bar of it will become 0 1 into 0 is 0 bar of it will become 1 1 into 1 is 1 bar of it will become 0 so we got r dash and s dash value so from this table we will get q and q n bar values if r dash and s dash are given we can easily get the values of q n and q n bar okay if both are 1 1 okay so this last condition if both are 1 1 then final output will remain same q and q bar and this condition is called as no change condition again r dash and s dash are 1 1 that's why we will get q and q bar which is again no change condition then for 1 0 for 1 0 you can see over here second last condition where qn and qn bar are 1 0 which is reset condition for 0 1 second condition over here you can see it will become 0 1 which is set condition and for 0 0 which is first condition qn and qn bar will remain 1 1 which is forbidden condition or not allowed condition okay so this was the explanation of log tessa thank you